Hi there YouTubers and in this tutorial we're going to be doing this nice neon um, ba YouTube background with the transparent box and this is really simple to do and does not take long at all so you're going to have to click on my screen now and um, well on the screen anywhere right here maybe and go to watch the video on how to create a template and then once you've created the template come back if you already have it then um, you're sorted so I'm just going to just delete this for now I'm just going to go to my file, open, and I'm just going to find my template. Uh, these are just a load of things I had from ages ago. Uh, if I just type it in here, there we are. Alright, so once I've got my tem template, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Right, okay, and first off, I'm just going to color the background in black. So, the way to do that, making sure your background color over here is black hit control and backspace and it will automatically color it, color it or you can use the paint bucket tool and do it like that so first off we're going to want to create that um, box and the way to do it is just zoom in and use the template as a guideline I'm just literally just going to go over this it doesn't have to be perfect like so and there's my box um, and I'm just going to leave it like that as a minute, but I'm just going to uncheck the little eye over here. So it just makes it disappear just for now. We just wanted that for later on. So now we need to get the neon working, and it's it's pretty simple to do. Working, create the neon. Um, it does not take long at all. So let's get started. We're going to just click on the background layer, hit new layer, and we're going to come over here to the um, elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to choose a colour from the side. So first off, I'm just going to choose a p nice bright pink, and I'm just going to draw out a circle like that. Now, when I've chose my colour, I can hit Alt and Backspace, and that will colour this. So now, once you've got it coloured, you're going to hit Control and D to deselect. So that makes sure the little um, little lines around the side have gone, and now you can work with this. So then, up go to Filter, Blur. Gaussian blur or Gaussian blur, and you can blur this up as much as you want. Now, 80 to 100 is where you want to go, and the, f the further on you go, the less it's going to look bright. So, I reckon around 90, 80, up to you, 80, 90, whatever. Um, hit OK. So, now we have this nice one over here. Now, what you're going to want to do is you create a new layer for every single one of these neon things you're going to create. So, create a new layer. You can you can use the same color more than once so what I just did then is I colored it in um, by using alt and backspace and now we can go up to filter and Gaussian blur or the hotkey is F uh, control and F so I'm going to create a new layer and if you don't create a new layer what's going to happen is when you're going to apply the blur this is just going to go weaker and weaker and you won't be able to see it so for every single thing you create create a new layer and I'm just going to hit control F so I'm just using hotkeys and I did tell you it's can alt create it alt backspace control D to deselect and then control F to use the Gaussian blur and I'm just gonna go and create a couple more of these now you need to spend your time making the colors that you want I am just applying any color at random oh sorry I'll do one more like so so now once I've got this nice neon background it does look pretty um, like a bit weird at first but what's going to happen is when you're going to apply the um, the transparent top to it it's going to make it just look a lot better so now layer 3 or whatever yours is going to be called that is the um, the actual template itself I'm just going to um, make sure I'm not on that and now I'm just going to click on the top of my the layer that I just created and I'm going to go down to the bottom one so it's just creating all of these right click and choose merge layers so now once we've merged the layers we can just you know move them around but we're not going to do that but it just means that we've got them all there alright so now we're just going to want to check the box back and drag the opacity down to around 50% Oh, sorry, wrong one. Uh, make sure you're on your actual um, box. 
drag the opacity down to around 50%. I'm just going to unhide the, this layer here. And as you can see now, we have this nice um, transparent here. You may want to take it down even more, actually. It's about yeah, 29% looks good. Uh, so you can see the neon around it, and you can see going through. So that's the tutorial, guys. When you, when you want to save this, you want to make sure that this is not selected, so get rid of it. And then go to File, Save As, and make sure you save the type as a JPEG. And um, make sure it's underneath the 250 KB that YouTube allow. So that is the tutorial, guys. It is really simple to do, but when you've uploaded it to your channel, it looks really smart and looks very professional. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, and please subscribe.